Hey folks, this is the Thrifty Gamer 83 here just bringing you a small little review of the game Counterforce. I really do like Counterforce. It's a good little game. It's a nice little pickup. It's something that people should definitely enjoy. As it stands, it's nothing but a space harrier clone. It's not too often that you see Space Harrier clones nowadays. Usually people just write them off and just have this attitude that it's a guilty pleasure of a game. That there's no evolution beyond what they're actually playing. It's not exactly a game that was developed on a massive budget. It's just a nice arcade shooter. It doesn't pull any punches. It's what Space Harrier has basically evolved into with a little bit of RPG and strategic elements. You purchase weapons, upgrades, boosters, everything that you can imagine. The environments are nice. It feels like an actual mech game. And that's a good thing. As you notice, you do have an energy bar, a mega meter, lock energy system, and shield. And it can take a little bit of getting used to. It's a frantic game. You don't really pay attention to your energy. You don't really pay attention to your bombs. And that's what I like about this. Because too often, games which have an arcade flair don't do this as much as they should. It really is a nice little pickup and play title. You can get it for a buck at GameStop, a buck, a nine cents. I've seen them go as low as 75 cents. They're generally, games like this are considered guilty pleasures. They're not guilty pleasures. They're actually a lot of fun to play. And to think that years ago, playing Space Harrier in the mall, that it would bring home the arcade feeling, that it would have that deep, deep sound system. It's really nice. You can listen to the songs as you play. Down in the man cave, I just put in my new sound system. It sounds excellent. It sounds like the authentic sounds. It sounds like you're actually there. It's the nostalgia factor, really. Just to have a game like Counterforce come out in this day and age. It's a great little pickup. There's nothing wrong with it. It does take a little bit of time getting used to. But if you've played any Space Harrier games, you will not be surprised at all by the amount of depth and detail which actually went into Counterforce. People view it as just, as I said before, as just a guilty pleasure, as a mediocre game. I don't. I actually think it's arcade gaming. Come home, where it belongs. That's the sad thing, though. Not too many companies are going to take a shot at actually putting out titles like Counterforce. Or, actually, what I'd like to see is a completely new Space Harrier. It really... The Wii does many things great. With the motion controls, you get the feeling that you're actually at the arcade with one of the arcade guns, light guns, which is provided to you. The Wii does that to such an extent that I just don't feel it when I'm trying to play some of the arcade ports off of the other systems. As well, the controls are tight. They really put in a lot of time, polish, and dedication onto Counterforce. It's such a great title to really have. It's dubbed shovelware, but it's not really shovelware. It's just a fun game to play. It's a nice little treasure to find, especially considering the fact that the Wii really didn't have that much 
of an impact on offering arcade games through advertisements. That's something where Nintendo kind of slowed down, but I love the arcade feelings. I love finding games like Ghost Squad. I love finding games like Counterforce. They're a great little diversion, and I love the games themselves because they make you think. As you can see, that's what happened. I just had to upgrade my Mac, and it's a great thing to have. This title right here is probably one of the greatest arcade classics come home to the Wii, and yet nobody will play it. No one will actually take the time to actually look at Counterforce and say, well, this is a nice game, and it seems that instead of just saying, well, it's only 85 cents, you should be saying, it's only 85 cents? And just picking it up. It's a great game. Rant, rave, love, hate, folks. Take it easy, this thrifty gamer. I'm going to go get ready to do the teaser tomorrow, which will be on my PSP. And in true thrifty gaming fashion, I actually picked my PSP up for 8 bucks. Again, folks, have a good one. I'm looking forward to doing more episodes. Click that subscribe button. Have a good one. Over.